Because that makes prunes freaking delicious. Like, I would eat prunes every single day if they tasted like that. <laughs> it's like the one that we got in another box. Chawa. Oh, look at that. Look that, at that. Yeah. It looks like something right. we've gotten The before. picture oh. does. Which box was that? Turkey? I don't think so. Philippines. China. China. No. China? No. China, we didn't get any chocolates. We had China, Philippines, Turkey, and what else? France? Bef yes. France. France. It, it was, was France. a French candy yep. bar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, what is this? With the walnuts and stuff. The one I really, 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 really like. Is this Prince Polo? Mm hmm. This is a Prince Polo. Prince of Polo. Let me see. Charlie. Charlie. Something like that. Chaiwa. Okay, got it. All right. Halva. If you know what halva is, bonus to you because I don't, and I'm about to find out. And everybody else is too. Halva is a dense, sweet, sesame based treat originally from the Middle East. So, Turkey. Oh, this is um, messy. It reportedly came to Eastern Europe by way of Jewish immigrants. Last May, we brought you traditional Israeli halva, which we weren't there last May, but that sounds delicious, with chocolate and sesame. This, the array, er, the array, uh, blah, blah, blah. the Israeli version was hit or miss with some of you comparing it to sandpaper. This halva, spelled chawa in Poland, couldn't be more different. It's made with real vanilla bean, and it's also a bit more moist, which makes this version more palatable than the Israeli one. Okay. Did you break me off a piece? That's yours. Is this one? That, yeah, that's yours. Okay. Because my half ended up being bigger right, than yours. Well, I'm just going to try a bite. Mm. All right. Oh my god. It's like the inside of a cookie. Like a peanut butter cookie. Peanut butter. It's like a peanut I'll taste butter. peanut butter immediately, but then I have that subtle taste of sesame coming in. The aromatic taste. Mm -hmm. But think about the softest cookie you've ever eaten and multiply that by two. This is... Like, so soft, it's, like, powdery. It's mm. odd. It's like an astronaut astronaut food cookie or something like that. It's, like, freeze-dried cookie. It's, mm. it's delicious. Like, if you watched our... I think it was turkey. If you watched our turkey video, you know I don't care much for sesame. That's pretty good. That's sweet peanut butter sesame. And I don't mind the aromatic sesame at all. It's not overwhelming or anything. And it's easy to eat. I love that. That's delicious. Um, God, there's still four more things. Phew. This is a long video, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I'm um, going to have to split it in I two. keep having to read the description because I don't know what what the s stuff this is. All right. Katarzynki. Katarzynki. Oh, good. There's multiple things in this, I think. But yeah, um, just a little let you know we are always honest here I, i've watched a lot of the, the universal yums review videos yes, like and they like love everything even the stuff that i'm just like i didn't like that at all so oh, um we are here. always 100 percent honest and um i hope you appreciate that because this is our legitimate opinions on everything um this one's been pretty good and i want to move to poland now this is the next thing what, once what again called? chocolate katarzynki katarzynki okay we have so much stuff in this box. Mm -hmm. This is like the biggest one yet. Katarzynki. Okay. One. It's dark chocolate gingerbread. Oh. Here. There's. It's very four light. Four more. There's four more in it. It's very light. It's less than a half ounce. It's probably about a gram and a half to it's two very grams. very airy. It's probably about a gram and a half to two grams in weight. Um, For that size pretty good. Alright, so let's try some. That is the softest gingerbread I've ever had. Oh, yeah. Gingerbread cookies in the U.S. are typically hard. very hard. Like, you have to, like, really bite down to get into them. These... I break them with my hand. Alright, it tastes like gingerbread. It's probably the best tasting gingerbread I've ever had. It's not too spicy. Um, and this is really... See, that's the only thing I don't quite like about it. I wish it was a little spicier. Mm -hmm. 
But that's just me. I love cinnamon. I love ginger. I, uh, gingerbread. I kind of wish there was a better. little bit more chocolate on it. I mean, I get well, it. Well, we if got you put plenty too much of chocolate. chocolate though. I, I get it. If you put too much chocolate on it, it's going to overpower the gingerbread flavor, especially it not having that much of a kick. Um, but I would like a little bit more chocolate. But this is really soft. Um, softer even than molasses cookies. Um, actually, it's probably about the texture of molasses cookies. A little bit softer, a little bit more spongy. It's like sponge cake. There mm. we go. And we still have four left. It's like gingerbread <laughs> sponge cake covered in chocolate. I'm going to have another bite. Because that's really good. Where's the... Oh, okay. So it was just one package? Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's six in it. Oh, cool. Alright, next. Ooh, this one melted. I'll grab this one. Oh my goodness, this is cool. It's okay. a chocolate cow. So this is Milka. I like chocolate, chocolate Milka. Cow. I wonder if that's what this came from, because this is a chocolate covered cow. It's called Milka. I like chocolate Milka. Yeah. Oh, there's cool. multiple. There's three. Okay, so there's three in each package. Oh, and these are cute. Oh, they're oh, I, I didn't read the description about the dark chocolate gingerbread. Okay, so the dark chocolate gingerbread. Made in one of the oldest cities in Poland, Turon, these Pierniki, or gingerbread cookies, are more than just a spice treat. The cookies are a testament to the perseverance of the Polish people. Kopernik, the company that bakes these cookies, have been in operation since 1763 and has had its fair share of ups and downs in the past 250 years. During World War II, their factory was destroyed, and the majority of their gingerbread machines were shipped to Germany for use as military parts. That's odd. After the war... The communist government controlled and owned the company until 1982, when it was finally given back to the private owners. Though you probably wouldn't have liked, though you probably would have liked these dark chocolate coated gingerbread cookies without the triumphant backstory. Now you can feel a little more inspired, inspired with every bite. So that's interesting. The milk chocolate covered cow, Milka chocolate covered cow. We wanted to bring you the world-renowned Milka chocolate for a while, but we had a little problem. We didn't know which country's box we should put it in. You see, Milka was created in 1825 by a Swiss chocolatier, but today most of their chocolate is made in Germany. Our problem was solved by these chocolate-covered cow-shaped cookies because they're made exclusively in Poland. We think you'll love these buttery, crunchy cookies, and of course, their Milka chocolate covering. I don't see any chocolate co Oh, there it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so I was looking at this, and there's like three of them. Mm -hmm. I can't pull them apart. You can't pull them apart without Yeah. Them. Don't break it. I'm not going to break it. Yeah, I mean, you you're going to eat it anyway. Okay. I wanted to take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of the wrapper. Okay, so... That's the milk of chocolate covered cow. I can't get them apart. <laughs> they are, like, fused. Got it. Ah, oh, bugger. Mm. This is a flavor that matters. Mm. Do you want to just break this one in half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, there you go. All right. Very crunchy. Butter cookies. Chocolate-covered butter cookies. Mm. I never would have thought to put chocolate on a butter cookie because butter cookies have their own flavor. It's a very unique flavor. But I taste popcorn. I taste popcorn. I do. It tastes like butter. Chocolate popcorn. covered butter popcorn flavored jelly belly in a cookie form. In a sugar cookie. Covered in chocolate. Sugar butter cookie. My mouth is so confused right now. I don't know what to do. I'm rocking back and forth. I don't know what to do. And it just smells sweet. It, uh, it just smells sweetness. Yeah, it just smells like a sugar cookie. Yeah, but this then you is bite confusing. into it. And you bite into it and you're like, oh, sugar I cookie. I mean, this is really oh. good kind of confusing, but this is confusing. Yeah, then you bite into it and then you go through several stages and you're like, oh, sugar cookie. Oh, chocolate covered sugar cookie. Oh, buttered popcorn. What the? Yeah, butter popcorn the stuff? flavored like, sugar butter cookie. I have no idea what to chocolate think about covered that. Butter I'm going to have to eat sugar that cookie. in order to comprehend it. I'm going to have to eat more of that in order to comprehend it because I don't even get it. All right, mm -hmm. so on to the next one. And then we are on... Oh, wait. Nope, there's two more things. Jesus. <laughs> We're not going to be able to watch good movies. <laughs> All right, so this is the Prince Polo. This is what I was talking about earlier. Um, where is it? Prince Polo. 
Hazelnut. All right, while you're getting it open, unless you want to read this and I'll get it open. No, you got it open. Okay. As part of our jobs at Universal Yums, we have the opportunity to go to trade shows and meet the people behind the snacks. At one trade show, a Polish businessman boldly proclaimed to us, Prince Polo is the best wafer in the world. One bite, and you'll see he wasn't really lying. It's delicious, and no surprise, a Polish icon. Since 1955, when the modern state of Poland was created, Prince Polo, Prince Polo has been... Poland's top-selling chocolate bar. Strangely, it's also one of Iceland's most popular chocolates. An Icelandic singer named Magnus Joshibola Olofsson even wrote a song about his love for Prince Polo. We don't speak Icelandic, but we imagine it goes something like this. Prince Polo in the heat, your chocolate melts apart, but in the cold of Iceland, your chocolate melts my heart. Oh. Oh my gosh, don't eat the whole thing. No, like, you buy one and I buy one end because it's just one thing. Did you already show this? Yes. Okay, cool. Naughty buddy. Not nutty buddy. It's like a chocolate, totally chocolate version of a Nutter Butter thing. Mm -hmm. Or not nutty buddy. Um, Those wafers, those peanut butter wafer things. Nutter Butter. I taste coffee. I do, too. All right, so it's a chocolate coffee sort of thing, um, like a mocha sort of thing, mm -hmm. um, flavored with um, not not nutter butters, not the peanut shaped ones, the sandwich cookies. I'm talking about like the um, little Debbie um, chocolate covered peanut butter wafer cookies, um, which are some of my favorite, and I can't remember what they're, they're called, but. <laughs> it's like chocolate heaven. That is really good. It's official. We're moving to Poland. Mm -hmm. Not official yet, but it's going to be official. We are going to move to Poland. And we still have one more, but we have two Rokshi, Roks, Rochkis left. We have one lemon and one cherry Galaretki. And we have two of the milky cream fudge, the caramel dry things. And then like two thirds of what we've got, at least. Yeah, we've just taken a bite of Finally, stuff. Finally, Vavel. Vavel. Taki. Tiki. Or Wawel. Tiki Taki. Or Wawel or Vavel. Tiki Taki. I think Vavel. Chocolate bar. Kokosova or Zedchove. Or Zedchove. All right, so this is going to be an excellent ending. Um, this is the last thing we get to try. So it says, say hello to what is undoubtedly one of the strangest chocolate bars you've ever tried. Mm -hmm. This unique chocolate bar combines two things you would never expect together. Peanut butter and coconut. Before you gasp in horror, take a bite. There's something that works really well with this unique blend of mild peanut butter filling and smooth coconut fondant wrapped in dark chocolate. Move over jelly or move over jelly peanut butter has a new friend named coconut i cannot wait to try this i have got to see if this combination works or if it doesn't work because i it, it's which even if it doesn't work i'll be oh, happy i tried good. it all right so they come in squares you cannot read that it has like a little impression and it Vavel. it works with heat okay I taste the coconut more as a texture, and the chocolate is really overpowering. That's the only bad thing I have to say about this, because... It's almost like chocolate-covered coconut with a hint of peanut butter. Yeah, it's... I barely taste any peanut butter whatsoever. Like, if I didn't know there was peanut butter in it, like, if I couldn't see it, like... This camera sucks. Okay, you see how there's chocolate on the top, and then there's peanut butter, and then there's coconut, and then there's another layer of peanut butter, and then another layer of chocolate. Um... If you if you didn't tell me there was peanut butter in it and I was just munching on it, I wouldn't know that I wouldn't know. Um, the chocolate is really, really, really good, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, it overpowers the um, really mild peanut butter. Like I said, we are completely honest. Like a lot of people are like, "Oh, it's so good, you can really taste blah blah." Which blah. it is really good. It, it is really good, but, but I kind of want to. I want to try honest. the same thing. 
except with milk chocolate or white chocolate instead of dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Because I have a feeling with white chocolate, it'd be like vanilla coconut peanut butter. All right. And... A bit deeper into it. I do taste a little bit more yeah. peanut butter. Mm. So, yeah, I think this might actually be my favorite box. I do wish they had sent one more mm. thing that was not sweet, though. Like, one more kind of chip. Because yeah. I love the chips. They only gave us two bags of chips. They don't typically do that. I mean, they gave us a lot of sweets. Okay. And I would like to try <clears throat> some of the things, like snacks and stuff. Other than chips. One, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different things. I could have told you that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Mm. 13 different things in this yum yum box. So, the most we can five dollars. So, all of these things I would pay more than two dollars mm -hmm. for. Like, all of them are because good. Because import tax, all that stuff. Um, we have a British peddler in um, around here that sells British stuff, and of course, because of the VAT tax, they, ha they have to charge more than what it's normally. Um, but, I mean, I would pay for $2. I would pay $2 for every single one of these things just to try it, you know, and not to mention keep it. You know, it, it was it was really good. So the Yum Box is really worth it. Um, and I think I have a new favorite cuisine country now. Uh, cuisine cu country. Oh, yeah, there's your booklet. Where's oh, Mary? Here's, here's my stuff that I have to finish. So, again, this was the Universal Yums box. If you're interested in trying out Universal Yums, we're not a sponsor, um, or else we'd be saying everything is delicious and not be 100% honest. Um, but you basically go to universalyums.com. Here's well, the website so far, right here. I haven't, we haven't had anything in a box I did not at least like. Yeah. There's been a few things that's like, eh, I'm glad I tried it, but I'm, I don't see myself buying that again. But I think the worst one that I've had so far was the pine sap gum, and I think that was turkey. Yeah. And turkey's was. box was kind of disappointing for me. I loved turkey's box. Yeah. Because I love it. weird yeah, things. He loved like, it. I love I would, Mexican I would, candy. I was he like, hates Mexican candy. I'm probably not moving to Turkey. I'll go there to visit, but I'm probably not moving to Turkey. Um, but this box extremely satisfying um but thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe this was probably the most fun universal yums video i've done in a while um probably because there was so much to try mm -hmm. and so much food um but i'm glad you guys are here watching it with me um and made it to the end congratulations <laughs> 45 minutes 45 so. minutes right um but yeah, definitely um, like, favorite, subscribe. That way you can see us next time. We're going to be doing a few more um, horror Ooh. boxes soon. What? Oh. The hint. Okay. If you guys made it to this point, you're really interested. All right, so this is the hint. The clue to next month's box. In little white houses perched by the sea, the people munch on olives and slurp saffron tea. If you don't like what they like, you're more than just crazy. You might upset the gods and wind Greece. up in Hades. Greece. Duh. Greece. Greek god of hell is Hades. Also, it's the Greek place for hell. It's Hades. Yeah. Um, Which I knew that, like, as soon as they started talking about, like, saffron tea. Olives. And olives. And uh, houses yeah. by the sea. I, I didn't know That it. was kind of obvious. I didn't know <laughs> it until it said Hades. That's a dead giveaway. Because what I was thinking was India because of saffron. Mm. Saffron and jasmine typically go together in Indian cuisine. Um, so I was thinking India for a while. And then but it said Hades, and I was like, Greece. Ah, it's Greece. Yeah. I cannot wait until we get the Greek box. I love Greek food. I love Greek stuff, food. So, oh. All right, and Turkey and Greece go right together. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm expecting myself not to like a few things because it's... Greek, Greek and Greece and Hades. Greece and Hades. Greece and Hades go well together. No, Greece, Greece and Tur Greek and Turkey, Turkish food, um, typically are served in the same place. Um, but yeah, thanks. So for yeah, watching. join us next time when we undoubtedly unbox the Greek video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, add your favorites, and share. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.